Okay, now, um, back to sanding of the nails. Let's see here. Just really slight, really, really, just taking down any rough edges and making sure I have a smooth surface to really work with. Okay. Just making sure I have a smooth surface. I've already pushed back my cuticles. Okay. It's really simple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't take much. Just making sure I knock all the rough edges down. Okay. Over here on this hand. And I'm very careful not to stay in one spot too long because um, it gets hot. It's a real bit gets hot. So I have to be very careful. Okay. Let's see. Shape them all. Let me put the drill down. Got them all sanded down. Okay, be right back in a second. Okay, now I just poured up my liquid right here. This liquid is right here. Oh, damn it. Okay, let me try that again. No editing. It's real life action here. All right, this is my powder. This is the powder I use. Okay. This is the powder. Put this up one more damn time. Stay there. But this, this is my primer I use. Mm-hmm. This is my brush cleaner for when I finish. I make sure I keep keep my brushes clean. Mm -hmm. Back up. All right, so now I am ready to apply the primer. And once I apply the primer, I will be ready to start the filling in. So. Don't need a lot, just enough to cover the nail bed itself. Be careful not to go up to the cuticle. And see, this is the part that I can take my time and do this. Instead of having to be rushed out of my seat at the nail shop. Yep. 
take my time and go over each one as I choose. But I want you guys to inbox me some suggestions on what design should I use. Because right now I'm at a complete blank on how I would um, normally design my nails. So I want you all's input and um, I will try to do incorporate all of the everyone that responds I will try to incorporate what your idea is in the overall design so it'll be something for everybody okay primers done let's get it oh, wait. Oh, that thought. So here we go. It's unpleasant. Okay, let's see here. Here's the powder. Let's see, wait, 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 over here. The powder. I'll start here. Pat that. Dip into the liquid. Okay. Now this is how I do it. This is my own method. I know some prompt someone is out there saying, No, that's not right. It's right for me. I've been doing my own nails for the last 14 years and I have no complaints so yeah I am NOT a professional by any means I just do what works for Veronica that's all I have done others nails in the past. I've done family and friends, but they always want that family and friends discount. Always, well, can you stop what you're doing and come and help do my nails? Oh, and I do from time to time. And I do. I'm just picking up some more powder and just working this powder in and spreading it at the same time. Okay. Let me move this powder out of my way. Back in here again. Let's see here. There's a little lumpy lumpy. Let's get that. It's just basically knowing how to apply powder and working it, patting and pulling, patting and pulling. I pat at the tip up here and then pull downward. Pat, oh, sorry, I pat at the top and pull downward. Pat. I'm going to go downward. Okay. So, let's see. Okay.
And I have my own little station at home, so I can do just what I like. Only thing I don't have, you guys, is an airbrush machine. I've looked into them. They're about four hundred dollars downtown Los Angeles. I've been <laughs> bugging my husband to go ahead and get me one. But I'm still on the fence about the airbrush machine. I'm still on the fence about it. I would like it. But at the same time, there's not that many designs that I do like as far as airbrush goes. And I really don't care for solid airbrush colors. And I have an extensive nail polish collection. I have over a hundred nail polish colors, and I never repeat the same color twice. I will, like in my blues, I have at least 15 different color blues at least 15 different colors from baby blue down to the darkest of darkest blues and I had someone tell me that um, I should start um, making nail polish out of eyeshadow and I'm like really nail polish out of eyeshadow and then she showed me how to do it take nail polish you crumble it up first and then you put it in a um, nail polish bottle with clear and you make nail polish and I'm like um, different so I was thinking about going to go get some you know cheap eye polish with some um, cheap eyeshadow and uh, some clear finger nail polish and see if that could work for me just see if that would work for me because when I was at the um, nail supply store downtown their OPI nail polish is eight bucks I'm like yeah I can't imagine spending eight dollars for one polish I just and it's OPI and it's I mean yeah but I can't I just can't justify that in my own head I really just can't justify eight dollars for one fingernail polish let's see I buy dollar brand the, what is it called California velvet I buy polish like this. Uh -oh, wait. I buy polish like this. Okay, and this is called um, Apple Red Frost. This is called Apple Red Frost. This is the polish that's a dollar, and it holds. You know, OPI is pretty, but this right here lasts longer, and it's such a pretty color. Such such a pretty color. I'll be right back okay I'm back now I've uh, filled them all up every last one yeah now I'm going to get started on shaping and filing them okay I'm not going to show that whole thing because it is a little tedious I have to make sure I don't cut my skin because I'm a diabetic and that's just not sexy so I'm gonna show you all a little bit be right back okay so I'm going to start filing and shaping them okay I'm not going to show you all of it because like I said before it's a little tedious and I have to pay attention so that I don't cut my cuticles because like I said it's really not sexy to be bleeding on camera all right so here we go I 
I'm going from left to right to get out any lumps that I may have put when I was doing the fill. And I'm being very careful not to stay in one space too long because the acrylic does get hot from the machine. I do have the, um, what is this machine called? Hold on. I have the STL file machine with the Monica foot control. And I purchased these items with my own money. And whatnot. So, oh, I'm sorry. Let me come up here. So now I'm going from the tip downward. This is just to again ensure I have a smooth surface to work with. Okay. I don't know if you can see. There's a little ridge there. I do my nails. Someone asked me how often do I do my nails. In the summertime, I do them every two weeks, maybe sooner, depending how fast they grow. Because for whatever reason, my nails grow faster in the summer and springtime. They grow a lot faster. And in the summertime, I may do them every three, maybe four weeks. They don't grow as fast as they do now. They've got to go really slow. I'm sure I have no lumps. So let's see here. Making sure I don't cut my cuticles. Making sure I clean up under the bottom too. Making sure I clean out. I fill my ink, my bottoms, so I don't get food or anything like that in it. I've seen females with food under their nails and I just often wonder why you don't take the time to clean that out. And I've had to, I've been asked rather, how do I clean them? Lemon juice, a toothbrush, and bleach. I am a diabetic so I must Keep my nails clean. I know some of you are probably wondering why bleach. Well, it helps them to keep white and the lemon juice also. I use the lemon juice as a disinfectant along with the bleach. Right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm finished. 
filing up with the machine now I'm just gonna go and do some um, cleanup work pretty much and basically I'm just gonna use this emery well not an emery board it's more of a I don't forgot what this thing is called, but it's double sided. One side, this is the rub side, and this is the buffer side. So it's a double file. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up at downtown where I get all my supplies from. And this is just to help me do cleanup work. Okay. As far as what filing goes. If I have any rough patches, like I'm feeling right here, and there's a rough patch down here, I'll just take it. And work that out. Yeah. All right. Now, use the smooth side, the buffer side. And just work it out. And like this. No lumps, no bumps. Smooth. But like I said earlier, I want you guys to give me some suggestions on how to design them. And I will try to incorporate everyone's idea in the design that um that I'm gonna put. So it'll be a collab operate a collab with your with you guys' ideas and we'll go from there. Okay. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, now. I have went, I finished shaping and filing. Now, I'm just going to file my tips really quickly. Doesn't take much, just getting them from being so rounded at the end. Just do it like that. This one. My nails are a little wet and it helps with the filing process on the tip. It's really easy to file when they're wet. Right? Whole hand. Yep. Whole hand. Done. Done. Alright. Over here. And this one off. And this one. It's odd sometimes for me. To do this is I have to do it myself. Okay. Mm, last one. All right. Let's see. All right. All are filled, filed, and buffed out. All right, let me put this over there. Right here. All righty. Thank you all for watching, and I'm looking forward to your comments on how I should design them and everything. Bye.